This is Salamancer, you are watching Sal TV, and did you know that the sniper's watch doesn't actually tell time? Look at that. Look at that. At least I don't think it tells time. Although, uh, to be fair, I do know someone who wears some pretty weird watches that I'm always like, how do you even know what time it is? I'm serious, I cannot understand them at all. But we do have an awesome game for you today between the Mighty Ducks and Makes Sense. And these guys actually played two games in a row against each other. <laughs> Okay. These guys played two games in a row against each other. This is the first of the two. They played their gravel game first and their warm front game second. Kind of weird that they would play each other two weeks in a row, but basically their warm front game was postponed uh, due to a TF2 update, maybe? Something, you know, ESEA, their client, just completely crapped out one night. So they are going to be playing their gravel pit match tonight. If you want to see the other game they played, which is on warm front, you're going to need to go over to XTV because uh, the VODs are over there. I actually casted the, the last half of that. We didn't get to the first half because we were too busy with the... Uh, oh, what do you call it? We're too busy with the uh, Quantic game, actually. Quantic versus Flow, also on Gravel Pit, which was a sick game, and you need to check it out. Um, but yeah, Ducks versus Makes Sense, their first match of the night, and this actually was also a night of... Uh, uh, TF2 update, so everybody is pretty much vanilla right now. You can see no crazy hats, no crazy weapons, and pretty much no crazy strats right now either. Two scouts on point A, and everybody else kind of wrapping around, rotating through point C, which is pretty normal. Although, to bring your medic this far forward this early is a little bit abnormal, and actually that medic has been spotted. So, that is going to tell the Mighty Ducks, hey, look at this. We are definitely going to get attacked through point C. Basic is over here trying to spawn camp a little bit. Just going to see if there's anybody over here. And there isn't. Not right now. I think the ducks are all pretty much going to be stacked over on point B. Ready to defend it against the incoming Makes Sense team. And, uh, oh gosh, what were the records going into this? Okay, the ducks are at 2 and 6. Kind of towards the bottom of invite. And Makes Sense at 2 and 5. Kind of a similar story here. So... We will have to see who can end up winning, because uh, one of these teams, over the course of the night, could end up getting up to four wins, maybe putting them in striking distance, but, you know, if they just kind of, if each team wins one, they are pretty much guaranteed the bottom of invite. So who knows, if you have already seen a match, of course, don't spoil it for anybody else. And Boulder getting in, doing some pretty good damage, but that's not going to work too well for them right now. Uh, looks like the Ducks, though, are wiping out quite a bit, and the problem is they have lost their Medic. So since Sync is going to respawn a little bit faster than Thrill, that alone is a huge advantage for the attacking Makes Sense team. Decimate, I... what even happened? Apparently he glitched into the map somehow. Oh man, wish I had seen that. But it's too busy talking about the rosters. So, uh, Tang... Needs a little bit of heals here, but the medic will get up in time to help him out. And he is at crit heals. Look at how fast he heals up there. That is, of course, because he did not take any damage for quite a long time. Of course, eating a rocket, never a good idea as a scout. But right now, the ducks, ooh, lose puff right away, and that is not a good thing for them. They are probably going to have to back off from this, especially with Thrill down to like 7 health. Yeah, he is going to need to get out of there really fast. Boulder going to go for the air shot and missed it. But it doesn't matter, as Basic came in behind it to finish off Phobia. Squid, meanwhile, killing Lang, and so the only person left alive for the Ducks is Thrill. They did take down Sync, but does it matter? Look how fast this point's going to get captured. Makes sense. With a quick B cap, about two minutes, I think. Yep, two and a half. And now, already, they have somebody on C. That is a good sign for them, as there is a soldier up there. Going to be tough to even jump up, because there's also a heavy guarding him from down below. The Ducks lose three players, and they're still six up. Now 5, 4 makes sense, but it doesn't matter. They just need one person to jump up there, and uh, Boulder thinks he wants to be it. Problem is, Medic is not actually healing him right now. There he goes, though. Going to get up and start capping, and the Heavy will actually probably finish this off. Panic! The Shotgun Heavy. You gotta love it. And they are, of course, playing Vanilla, which uh, is just perfect for Shotgun Heavy. Absolutely perfect. So, that was a quick round. 3 minutes and 4 seconds is almost as quick as you can do it. It's not the quickest, I know. Um, you can actually go a little bit faster because, of course, there is a game on my channel where if you go back and you find all the games I've casted of a tin team in Highlander, there's a game where one of the teams capped it in like a minute and 30 seconds. All the way to C. That is right. You heard me right. A minute and 30. They ended up winning like all of their DM fights on both A and B simultaneously and just completely steamrolled. Uh, it was pretty hilarious. So you need to go check it out. But three minutes, still an amazing time, and Squid quite happy about it as well. He's uh, kissing his minigun here. And you'd think it would still be hot after all that, but actually it was a different person on heavy, so nope, he'd be wrong. 
Right now, it looks like uh, the ducks have the work out for them. They are going to have to pop out here and immediately look for sticky traps, so they're going to be a little bit careful as they come out the doors. There are sticky traps here, not in a usual place, although they are going to be visible to anybody who walks out there, uh, so I think they'll know. And yes, they have spotted the one trap there. They have spotted the other one! <laughs> oh, man. Phobia manages to uh, back off, kind of wising up to it, but there's actually a sentry over here as well, and uh, Decimate has actually gotten pretty close to it, so that is going to be the engineer escaping. Sentry was really just there to delay things for a little bit, maybe catch somebody off guard, and it didn't catch anyone off guard, but look at this! Uh, makes sense, actually, doing this, well, okay, so I'm going to give away a little bit here, and they're doing the same thing that one of the other teams I've seen recently did, which is pushing in towards point A, just to try and defend it with an Uber, uh, and you'll see that the Ducks are having a little bit of trouble with that. They've lost both their, well, one of their scouts right now. They didn't bring their medic out there, so of course they didn't wipe out with the medic. And if they're, if they're wise here, what they will do is try and cat B very, very quickly. Because if they can beat their opponents back, uh, this is the danger of doing this sort of strategy. Makes sense, might actually lose the race to get back to B. And it looks like they have Phobia getting right in on top of them. And the Uber is now popped, so this could go really, really well for the Ducks. They might actually manage to win this round if they can cat B very, very quickly. Of course, they, you know, they have to balance. It's a very dangerous balancing act right now. There's less than two minutes. They really need to stack this point, but they also need to do exactly what the demo is doing right now. That is Puff. He needs to set these sticky traps up and prevent anybody from getting in here. And look at that. Very smart play right now. They are also capping A quickly. They need to do both of these things to win this round. So B should get capped. They've got a soldier standing up here now guarding the chokes. So everything should be okay. And let's just see where the dinosaurs are. Makes sense. Uh, looks like they are going to go set up on point A. And they have taken out Sean Bud, who got a little bit of time put onto point A, but it is going to start dropping down very rapidly, so... Makes sense. Going to have some trouble here. They need to wipe out... I'm sorry, the ducks are going to have some trouble here. They need to wipe out makes sense, is what's going to happen. So the, the ducks need to wipe out makes sense if they want to win this round, and they need to wipe them out fast. It's a minute left right now on the clock, and if they don't start capping this point practically immediately, it is going to be too late because A takes forever to cap on this map. It's like 30 seconds if you have times 4 or times 6 on it. Uh, and Panic immediately taken down Ghostayama. Phobia there. So already things are not off to a good start here for the Ducks. And they may have quacked their last quack. Well, not the last quack. They played another game later in the night. But you get the idea. And yeah, they are losing a lot of players in this attack right now. The Ubers are done for both teams, but Panic is just going crazy right now, as is Squid. And finally, somebody finished Panic off there. But... Wow, makes sense. Held on to A. That is going to be good round, ladies and gentlemen. Makes sense. Making it look easy. Phobia just jumping in for the stat padding now, I think. He's just like, yeah, I want to get an extra kill, maybe. Or die, or whatever. It doesn't matter at this point. It is dead time as we wait for the next round to start. What an amazing round for makes sense. Um, really, the offense is what broke the back of the Ducks there. The defense was just kind of icing on the cake that they're just like, yeah, we can do whatever we want pretty much here, and we will win this round because it was a three-minute capture time. So well done to them, and we're going to go check the second half out. All right, 60 seconds on the clock. The Ducks have to set the capture time and then make sense. Have to beat it. That is how Stopwatch works. I explain it every time I know. It's getting a little old to some of my uh, my veteran viewers out there, but do say hi in the comments if you are one of those and you have heard me repeat myself like a billion times about how stopwatch mode works, because it's, it's not very intuitive to grasp. It really isn't. Oh, I love that sticky trap. That is hilarious. <laughs> I think I have pointed that out on Gravel Pit before, because it is a fairly common one, but it is an utterly hilarious one, too. If you are not paying attention, you are going to get owned by a fire extinguisher. Anyway, yeah, stopwatch mode is not immediately intuitive. It makes sense once you see what happens, uh, which is basically that one team has to go all the way to point C or whatever, you know, whatever time they set in whatever number of points they cap has to be beaten by their opponents who will switch on to attack, and that is an entire stopwatch round. So this is the second stopwatch round after Makes Sense won the first one, and... Okay, they are actually going out point A here, and they're going out with their medic... Uh, he might retreat back in his spawn. Yes, he will. Okay, so he's just going to back off. Um, looks like right now they've taken down Panic, so already one kill for the Ducks. And where is Sink right now? He is all the way back on point C. Looks like uh, maybe Makes Sense wanted to set up a point A defense, and they kind of got outplayed here just a little bit. The Ducks are probably going to... Oh, Sink did not actually pop his Uber there. 
and that is a very, very wise decision, although a difficult one to make when you're taking that much damage and you see a soldier jumping onto your head, it's like, oh my god, I need to pop a super. But he didn't, and oh, another scout jumping in. Man, Sink is just not a panicky guy. He is calm under pressure, because I would have popped my uber like five times right there. I would have just been like, oh, spam that right-click button. And he didn't, which means that actually maintain the uber, and they can defend B against an incoming uber push. So that makes it harder on the ducks. The ducks are going to have to either dive bomb in again and waste a couple players, waste some time, or they're going to have to bring their medic out, which is what they're doing right now, and they're going to have to trade in an uber battle, which is much riskier than coming in when you have an uber and they don't. So the, uh, the fact that their suicide into B failed doesn't help them all that much, but of course a minute 12 capture time on point A is not too bad. It's all about how fast they can cap B and C now, because they need to do that. And they are at a one-round deficit, so they at least need to win this one to tie it up against their opponents on Makes Sense. So right now they are going to be pushing into a heavy. There's only one scout out here for Makes Sense. And scouts, of course, you can't underestimate them, but having that heavy there means they had a lot of HP on the field. Tang taking a lot of damage right now, actually, and Lang is going to be jumping up on top. By the way, guys, uh, I, th I think I heard that at one point, actually, on the XTV stream when I was casting Makes Sense, there were more people... Oh, look at that sick air shot! <laughs> oh... There were more people watching Lang's stream than actually watching XTV, which is awesome. Absolutely awesome, because Lang's stream is hilarious, and I cannot recommend it enough. Anyway, a uh, complete wipe out there. Don't even know what happened. Uh, they probably popped the Uber, I think, maybe, but man, makes sense just completely wiped out there. So we are going to see, yeah, already Phobia here is sitting in front of Spawn. He's waiting to see who respawns, who walks out, and who tries to attack. And point B will certainly be captured by the Ducks. They're going to have a bit of an uber advantage. Sink building pretty fast here. Is he... Yeah, he's on the regular medigun. Crits Creek really does not make sense on defense. Oh, <laughs> get it? Makes sense. It's their team name. That's why it's funny. Um, no, it makes sense. It it, uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm. There's no other way to say it. There just isn't. And if, if you think of another way to say it, then I hate you. Uh, for the simple fact that if your opponents come in with an uber and you pop a crits you're on the back foot already, and you can't deal damage to invulnerable players. Uh, Sink almost has his uber up, and he does manage to pop it just barely in time. They're going to keep his soldier alive, so Basic going to be holding out for a little while, and Squid actually stayed alive up there because all the attention was focused on the medic who did pop the uber, so it's, uh, oh, <laughs> Puff got popped out of the air there. Uh, that is a danger of really calling a focus on the medic. If you can't kill him and you can't, you know, force a pop very quickly from him, then you've wasted, like, a lot of ammunition, a lot of rockets. You're going to have to spend a lot of time reloading. And your opponents, meanwhile, have been dealing damage to anybody who's been aggressive. So when Sync managed to dodge all that damage and then pop the uber after a few seconds, that was a few seconds where they were basically dealing worthless damage to the entire Make Sense team. And Make Sense was dealing damage that was very worthwhile and waiting for the uber to finish up. So great uber positioning all around for Make Sense. And uh, so far they will hold on to point C for a little while longer. The Mighty Ducks, not looking especially mighty on their C attack, but so far their time for B was good. 2 minutes 30 seconds, so they can afford a couple of failed pushes here and still have a decent time. Puff and Lang both down, and Phobia, I think, trying to jump in as well. Uh, were they possibly going after Sync? I don't know. And you know what? I think they probably were, because Sync did pop an Uber just to save his skin there. So that is a problem for Makes Sense. They will have Sync alive, but, uh, you know, so they'll have the heals. But they won't have the Uber. Thrill is going to pop in here with an Uber very soon. Um, and sometimes you'll see teams do some weird off-classing in this kind of situation. Like you'll see maybe Panic come back up as a sniper or something. Oh, he comes back up as a Pyro, which is not a bad choice either. He is going to be walking up the Spire and just kind of air-blasting anybody off, I think. Yeah, he might actually just go try. No, he is watching off that Spire. You can see him down there right now. Phobia coming in and taking a lot of damage. Uber not able to save him up there, but uh, Lang is doing some good damage up there as well. And Puff... Laying some sticks down, a lot of players dying, including that Pyro, and it is just Boulder left. Can he save the point against four players? Probably not by himself. And he is kind of getting locked down into this hallway down here right now, so that's going to be about a uh, yeah, five-minute capture time. Respectable for the Mighty Ducks. And now we just have to see whether it makes sense can beat it. <laughs> oh, okay, please don't take that out of context. Seriously, though, uh, makes sense have to beat the five-minute time 
set by the Mighty Ducks, because if they can cap point C in under five minutes and they win the round, and since this is a best of three stopwatch rounds, they also win the game. That's how it works. It's just uh, stopwatch mode. TF2. You now understand it. You are an expert. Just like me. Okay, you don't want to be just like me. I promise. You really don't. <laughs> and I'm not an expert at all. But Mighty Ducks... Let's see how they set up their defense. Right now, they are going to... Uh, bloop, 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 camera? Okay. Where is the sticky trap? Okay, it's just going to get laid up top. I mean, if you're not setting up a sticky trap on defense on Gravel Pit, you're just wasting time. You may as well set at least one just on the off chance that your opponents don't hit it. Because if they don't, you know... If they don't catch it... Oh, this is interesting. Look at what he's doing right here. He's actually just laying down one sticky at a time. He wanted to see if a... Oh! Panic! He wanted to see if a spy was popping out there. Because if a spy did pop out, uh, it would have been temporarily decloaked by the sticky bomb popping there. So, uh, so laying down one at a time when you already have eight stickies out is a great way of just basically detonating one at a time. As long as you know where you've laid them, it's pretty cool. It's a neat little way to use your stickies. But yes, losing is fair boten for the Ducks. If they lose this round, they lose the game. So that's going to be pretty important. We're going to see how they decide to defend B. And B is a uh, it's the standard. You just kind of defend it, because A is a little bit more difficult to defend, assuming that your opposing team knows how to attack it. Uh, now, if you're playing in like a lower division, like Open, or maybe if you're playing in the UGC 6v6 League, an A-point defense can be completely worth it, because if your opponents aren't a very well-practiced team, then they have not practiced a lot of uh, attacking A, and they might not actually know how to do it. So if you can set up a proper A-point defense in the lower leagues, it can work really well. Um, or in the upper leagues, if you just have a crazy advantage over your enemy team, it can also work. But uh, it won't work if the opponents know how to attack it properly. And uh, as we are seeing right now, that is kind of the the gambit that the Ducks are taking, is they're just saying, let's play standard. B is a lot harder to attack in normal circumstances. But look at Tang jumping in, taking down Thrill right now, and actually Decimate doing some pretty good damage here on the Heavy. And how did he get up here? Uh, Decimate, how did you get up here? Decimate, oh, how, how did you get up here, Decimate? How'd you do it? This is wacky. Heavies can't jump like that. There had to have been a teleporter at some point. It's probably what they did. Uh, ever since last season, and maybe it wasn't like the first person who ever did it, but it's the first time I'd ever seen it. Um, I saw Oplade getting teleported as a heavy up to the top here. So they would set up a teleporter as engineer and then have the engineer, like, you know, sentry jump up or. Well, I guess he can't do that. So he just had to use a. Uh, the normal, like, if, if you're an engineer, you can build your buildings, like, on these ramps and stuff and, and hop up that way, so that's probably what they did. But, uh, regardless, that is how they got the heavy up to the roof, and having a heavy on this roof just means that if anybody tries to jump up, like a soldier or demo man, they are screwed, because they have, they're basically jumping into a sentry, almost, except that it is a movable sentry, and it can prioritize its fire a lot better than a normal sentry can. So Decimate doing some pretty good damage from up here. He is, in fact, decimating their team in the colloquial sense, not in the uh, Roman military sense. And, uh, yeah, I'm a nerd, I know. But, oh, actually gets knocked off there and didn't realize Basic was behind him. Basic, I don't understand how he does it, because one minute Basic is, like, in his spawn, and then before you know it, he is, like, right behind the enemy heavy or medic, and he's just like, oh, hey, what's up? I really, I don't get it at all, but this guy is a hilarious soldier. And, of course, we actually saw him playing medic last season. Uh, was it for the experiment, maybe? Possibly. I am an idiot, because I don't remember. But the basic did play Medic last season, and so I didn't realize what a great soldier he is. But his positioning, his game sense, I guess we'll call it, just the fact that he's able to get back behind his opponents like that is remarkable. And so we're going to see a minute 43 left here. Makes sense if captured A and B. They just have to capture C. They basically have time for two pushes here. And they uh, they did not force the pop yet out of Thrill. He did just now pop his Uber. And a couple players dying here. There is a scout on the point right now. In fact, two scouts temporarily on the point. They're taking a lot of hits, though. Squid down. Lang down. Tang, though. He is gone. And so it makes sense. Yeah, they only have time for now. One more push, really. A minute left to go. They're going to build this Uber back up. And they're going to build it about the same time as Thrill. So they aren't really going to have an advantage. Makes it tough to push into point C. It is a very difficult point to capture because your opponents get all the time in the world to just go set up and camp a heavy or a pyro or something on top of that point. They can move however they want to, but uh, when you get in, you only have a very limited time to jump a couple soldiers up there, deal some damage, and if you can't deal that damage just right, you are at a severe disadvantage. 
So let's see what happens. Boulder going to probably take some of the super anyway. And they will need to jump that point fast if they want to win this round. Otherwise, we're going to go on to a third round, which is always my favorite thing to see. Lots more TF2. But we'll see. The Uber actually popped a little bit early here for uh, Thrill, and so they are going to use that to try and force an Uber early out of sync as well. Nice pill hits there by Boulder, but he may get taken down. No, he doesn't, Lang. Uh, not sure what he was shotgunning there, but it wasn't Boulder. Now the Medic is gone. Boulder gone as well, but Sean, but the only one left alive, so only 20 seconds left to go. Makes sense. Actually win the match, and that Soldier, I can't tell if he's happy or just kind of derpy, but regardless... 2-0 for Makes Sense, and then they went on to play on Warmfront later, and of course you need to go check out the VOD of that. Uh, might be up on youtube.com slash comft, um, but that was a pretty awesome match as well, or on CP Warmfront that you need to check out. And I'm going to put in a little bit of anti-spoiler time now, so just kick back and relax, and of course make sure you hit subscribe, because I know you want to see more competitive TF2 on this channel. That is pretty much the only reason that I exist. Um, but yeah, kick back and relax a little bit. We'll uh, we'll listen to the sea breeze. I'm just kidding. I don't listen. I don't live anywhere near the sea. I wish I did, man. It's like live in a house overlooking the ocean on the beach. I could go surfing whenever I wanted to. I don't surf, but I'd do it if I live next to the beach. <laughs> Depends on the beach, though. I don't think I'd want to go surfing in Galveston. Ugh. Uh, yeah, no. This this was an awesome game, though. It was not quite as innovative of a game as the. Uh, the Quantic versus Flow match because Flow, I mean, those guys just do some wacky stuff all the time, and it is awesome to watch. But it was actually fairly innovative for the makes sense defense on point A there. That they uh, once they realized, you know, it's only three minutes, they took a risk by pushing into point A. They said, you know, we could actually uh, we could make something pretty crazy happen here over in round one. And oh, can't really get this scout's face. He does not look very happy. I'll say that much. Here, let me do this. Boom. Nope, not quite. Boom. Okay, yeah. Not a happy Sean Bud right there. Um, but yeah, that that defense on point B was pretty excellent. I'm sorry, point A was pretty excellent. They managed to push in with their Uber. They wasted, basically wasted an Uber. But they managed to hold on to point A for long enough that uh, it forced their opponents to kind of be like, oh, I, I guess we'll go cap B now. It wasted a lot of time off the clock, and, and really, when you were looking at an only three-minute capture time, wasting any time off the clock, very, very bad, um, because you basically need every push to succeed in order to win a round like that. And so since every push didn't succeed, they were just like, hey, we win. It worked. It worked really well. So uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this cast as much as I did. It was an excellent game, and I will see you guys later.